What's up, everyone? Welcome to episode three of the Fire Faith Podcast. Today's scripture is Hebrews 12, verses 1, and we're going to go into verses 2 as well. So in the first verse, it says, Therefore, since we are so surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay down every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. So whenever the author of Hebrews says, so great of cloud of witnesses what he's meaning by cloud of witnesses is basically just role models in the faith that have come before us and that we can look up to who have already complete, completed the race and are already in heaven and we can look up to them then whenever it says here uh, after therefore since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses let us also go and lay down every weight and sin which clings so closely. Uh, every weight and sin, that you know if you're running, you're not gonna want to carry a backpack with you or any kind of weight because that'll slow you down or make you stop in the race. Similarly, whenever we're running the race of life, we don't wanna be holding on to any weight or any commitments that get in the way of God or any sin, habits, because we can't follow God while still holding on to the same sin habit and not doing anything about it. So we need to terminate those and lay them aside to fully run the race of life. Moving on to verse two, it says, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, and for the joy that was set before him, enduring the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. So whenever it says looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, it's saying um, that whenever we're running the race of life, it's gonna get tiring and there's gonna be times that we're all gonna feel like giving up, but we need to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus who is the founder and perfecter of our perfecter of our faith. And it goes on uh, to tell more about Jesus saying, who for the joy that was set before him and during the cross, um, you wouldn't want to be persecuted and go on a cross for nothing. So it's saying the joy that was set in front of him of uh, having us be able to go to heaven with him one day, um, going to the cross, despising the shame and seated at the right hand of the throne of God.